category mapping rules allow you to easily rename and combine the categories providing your suppliers feed into your own custom store categories. You can see here the main and subcategories provided by the supplier in their product feed. Once your feed is activated, we will upload the category names to your store for any product found in your catalog. So if you'd like to modify these category names, be sure to do so before your feed is activated and your first product is uploaded. To start renaming the category, simply click into a category and start deleting the category text. You can then type in the new category name you would like to replace it with. You'll notice the supplier's category name remains visible with a strike through it. This is so you can reference to old category names, which can be helpful when searching through your supplier's product feed. If you'd like to combine multiple categories so that they upload as only one to your store, you can simply rename each category to the same new custom category. Now any products that are added into your catalog at any time will automatically upload into your store's custom category. You can also move main or subcategories under a different main category by clicking on the gear icon. Here you can also choose to replace the category name with the manufacturer name instead for any product falling under this category. Lastly, you can quickly rename and modify several categories at once by using the bulk category management tools. First, I would select the categories I want to modify, and then choose the action to take on the categories. This makes category mapping quick and easy for even the largest supplier product feeds. Hi everyone, in this video we'll be going over some frequently asked questions about using our category mapping tool and point out a few things that might make it a bit easier for you when setting this up for your own store when the time comes. Uh, so probably the number one question we get asked is how to set up a three level category structure. Uh, by default when you look at our mapping tool you can really only set up two levels of categories, but there is a way to go about this to, to set it up in a three level structure. Um, there's a few use cases where this, is, this will really be helpful. Um, so let's say food and beverage. Um, by default, this comes over as a two level structure from the supplier. So you have food and beverage as the parent, applesauce and so forth down will all be your, your subcategories here. But let's say you have a parent level category on your store that's called grocery and you want food and beverage to be underneath grocery and then you want those other subcategories to still be there under food and beverage as a third level structure so what you would do is cl click this gear icon right next to the food and beverage category and you're gonna have a pop-up that says make child of parent category and what you can do is click in here and start typing in the category name that you want to be created as the new parent above food and beverage. And as soon as you click create, you'll see that grocery is now the parent level category above food and beverage. So what this will do on your site is if you already have a grocery parent category, or if not, this will create it for you. Uh, and then you'll have food and beverage become the subcategory underneath that. And then you'll have third level categories such as applesauce and the rest of these will display below that. So this is a way to, to get around it and to create a three level structure, which gives you some more uh, options for categorizing products um, and it allows your customers um, an easier way to, to focus in on the products that they want to get to and find and purchase. Another scenario that happens is uh, sometimes maybe a subcategory uh, as it comes over from the supplier might not make sense in the parent category that it's in and maybe you want to move it to another parent category that you have on your store. Uh, so let's say inside of the facial care category uh, that you have lip balm and you want this to, to be moved to a different category, maybe personal care, it makes more sense for you, uh, which is actually already an existing category from the supplier. So if you expand out and you're able to see the subcategory here, lip balm. If you click this gear icon, same as like we did before, you have the pop-up that says make child of parent category. And if you click in there, what's gonna happen is it's gonna show you a list of all the existing parent categories. And it's also gonna show you any new ones that you've created. So you can see grocery like we just created has an asterisk there. And that just means it's a custom category that you've created, but you can also select it if you'd like. But we wanna go ahead and move this over to personal care. So once we select that, you'll now see that lip balm is underneath the category of personal care. 
and this is just going to create a normal two-level category structure and lip balm will be included under personal care with the rest of all these subcategories when it loads up to your store.